back on tracks after a 10-year restoration, one of the world's most famous locomotives. The Flying Scotsman was this morning taken on a test run, steaming down the East Lancashire railway tracks, bringing tears to the eyes of rail enthusiasts. My hair on the back of my neck is standing on end at this very moment. And I think the smell of coal, oil and steam, if you could bottle that as a perfume, I'd wear it. <laughs> I really would, I love it. The Flying Scotsman was built in Doncaster in 1923 and just over a decade later became the first locomotive to break the 100 mile per hour barrier. Restoration began in 2006 and was carried out by Manchester's Riley and Son. It was 10 years of our life, <laughs> you know, there's so much, there's, it's immense, it's the biggest overall a locomotive we've had. We've chopped the front end off, we've got a new boiler, uh, so yeah, there's so much we've had to do for it. After a series of test runs like this one, the Flying Scotsman will be painted in classic British rail green, just in time for its welcome home event in late February.